how different is this spring, obviously, for you? Uh, you're entrenched in a position that makes it a lot easier, huh? Um, you know, it's, it's really different, you know, because last spring I split a little time playing receiver and playing quarterback. So I can tell you for sure one thing, I'm not as tired. <laughs> Brady called you a football junkie. Are you watching a lot more film than, than you have in the past? I mean, definitely, you know, for, before spring, it's more so watching my game and what our defense is going to do, just preparing for other teams, you know, because – this is probably the best defense we're going to see. You know, most NFL um, similar defense. You know, from here, I feel like it'll be easy to um, decipher other defenses. What was that first snap? Hmm? What was that first snap that you took this spring like for you? Was there? Was it kind of like, wait, this is actually finally? Time? After the play, it was great because it was a completion down, <laughs> down the field, uh, pretty pretty deep down the field. So that was that was a great relief. To who? Who'd you call? Uh, it? Darbo. Uh, was just in here, and he, he said he was proud that you realized that playing quarterback at Michigan was something special. What do you think he meant by that? I mean, just the way I attack workouts and, you know, even like, you know, gassers after practice when we lose competitions or something like that, you know, try to be first, you know, do things like that. And, you know, helping bring other young guys around uh, along with us. So. Having the whole offseason to prepare, you know you're going to be the starting quarterback probably, how did that change your mindset and your approach to getting ready for spring? I mean, whether I was going to, whether they said I was going to be the starting quarterback or not, I was going to prepare like I was, so. I don't think it changed my mindset really much. You know, I've just been working hard and, you know, trying to make this my team. Some of the players and Coach Hoke have mentioned how you've matured, have you become more of a leader. Have you talked to anyone about how to lead or any, any of the past players? I mean, uh, we have senior meetings. And you, we got David Goggins, you know, talking to us, who's a Navy SEAL. And, you know, I feel like those are the ultimate leaders of our country. So, you know, he's putting a lot of things into us and, you know, it's helping us a lot. How much, uh, how much film do you watch? A lot, <laughs> you know. How much? I watch every practice twice for sure. And, you know, sometimes I watch a little more. You know, when we get a chance to watch it with the boards, but by myself, I watch the practice twice. How long does that take you to watch it twice? <sighs> it depends, you know, because some practices are longer than others. You know, yeah. and sometimes you play a, a better better than you yeah. may have, might have played in other practices. So it all depends on how I play and how long the practice is. Are why, you watching it here or twice? I mean, just just to make sure you don't miss anything because it, a lot of things, like you know, if you watch a movie. You know, you don't particularly see everything. You know, we might be laughing during something or, you know, something like that. So I just try to watch it as many times as possible before we get with Coach Borges and then you really decipher. Are you starting to see the dividends of that, that, that film watching? Are you seeing uh, defensive schemes faster and things like yeah, that? Yeah, definitely. I, I kind of know sometimes what they're doing before they do it. And I don't think Coach Madison is very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> when you watch film, do you primarily watch for the defense or offense? Both. That's why you got to watch it twice. You can't just watch it all in one city. So you watch it once, focusing on one side of the ball and one side of the I mean, other. I try to do, you know, both while okay. I'm watching, you know, okay. just so I won't miss anything, I watch it again, and then we watch it again with Coach Borges when we have meetings. Has yeah. Coach Borges given you any uh, NFL cut-ups? Um, he gives us a Jason Campbell cut, you know, because a lot of offense, you know, is from, you know, like NFL teams, and his pro-style offense is an NFL offense. So, you know, he got old cut-ups from when he coached at Auburn and things like that. How much different is this from what you guys were running, I guess, when you were in there at the end of last year? Sorry, How much different is the offense now from what you were running at the end of last year when you were in there? From the end of last year? Yeah, oh, well, not, the, the, not very different. Games. You know, we got a, a few additions. You know, it's only third day of spring, but if he's talked to me. You know, we have a few more additions, you know, pro style things. So. But it's not going to be an overhaul necessarily. I'm sorry? It's not going to be an overhaul like of, of guess, change from yeah. last year? From yeah. the end of last year? No. Give us an example. When you say pro style, what are you talking about? You know, under center, play action pass. Like a lot of things you saw last year at the end, you know. Waggle passes, which is my favorite pass, you know, pretty protected yeah. there. You know, everybody's blocking. You got two guys, you know, to win for you out on the outside. So I like that protection, but, you know, has things he, like that. Has he uh, given you any Redskins or uh, um, Niners film? I mean, I took that upon myself to watch those guys. I see how well they're doing in, in a pro-style setting. So, I mean, it would be, be sinister for me not to watch those guys. <laughs> said you text Al a lot, too. Yeah. What are you texting him? I think he more so texts me because he has a son and he wants to know how to do video game things and <laughs> stuff like that. I text him, you know, when I, like, if I see a, a nice player in the game, I say, hey, that's a waggle pass. We need to put that in, you know, stuff like that. But he usually texts me about helping him choose sides on a video game or Madden or something like that because <laughs> he doesn't, obviously does not do anything or how to use his phone. His son helps him with that a lot, though. Have you played him in Madden? No, I'm not very good at video games. I know how to choose sides, though. That's easy. <laughs> You're using that phone a lot. Uh, Thomas said you've been texting him, too, but mm -hmm. it, it's a little more uh, challenging. Huh? Oh, yeah, I definitely, you know, Tom is an ultimate competitor just like me. So, you know, we, during the day, we're going to make sure we keep each other ready because practice is later. So, you know, 
that's that's for me and Tom. You know, we, we get to you snap at each other a little.